Hey guys, welcome back to South 10 Beer Reviews. I'm Tyler. Thank you guys for stopping by. Tonight we've got another beer from Wild Leap. We've been doing a lot of Wild Leap over the last couple months or several months. can't remember. I think we've done like four or five maybe. Um, really enjoy their beers. Uh, really solid stuff. Uh, they're not too far away from me. So uh, yeah guys, this is going to be um, Alpha the 13th. Which is uh, part of their Alpha Abstraction series, uh, where they do different hop varieties. Uh, this happens to be their 13th, so they did a whole play on the uh, Friday the 13th, um, you know, font and all that stuff, <clears throat> which I thought was really cool. Um, inside the, the I guess it's a buffalo or, or bison, forgive me, I, I don't know. Uh, inside there, there's like a, um, like a little cabin and a lake. Uh, representing Camp Crystal Lake, and there's like blood on the uh, on the font on the Alpha Abstraction um, lettering. Um, I really like that; it's cool. Um, I'm a big fan of Friday the Thirteenth, so as soon as I saw this beer at one of our local stores, I was like, I got to get this. And um, yeah, this beer is Volume Thirteen, um, which they put this on every can. It says, "I want them real thick and juicy, so find that juicy double." Uh, by Sir mix a -Lot. Uh, This one says Alpha Abstraction Volume 13 is a juicy double dry hopped IPA with Sabro hops. This is the 13th edition of the series uh, with a varied hop profile in each volume. Sabro is really awesome. Uh, I've been, I, I, I've had several beers with Sabro um, throughout the year so far. And um, yeah, it's definitely a really cool, like, uh, fruity hop. Um, but it, it can put off a little bit of other, um, uh, things too. Like, um, some of the beers that I've had involving Sabro have put off a really cool, like coconut, um, flavor and, and I really enjoy it. It's a really fun hop. So I'm excited to get into this one. Um, untapped currently it's getting, uh, 4.31. So really nice numbers there. Um, uh, and it's 8% 44 IBUs. So. Uh, I don't know when this actually came out, but it was canned on, actually I'm answering my own question. Uh, this one was canned on July 2nd, so yeah, we're about, basically a month in. Let's give this a shot. I'm excited about this one, guys. Wow, I can smell it from here. Holy Moses. All right. So, nice uh, light gold color. It's got a nice uh, one finger head there. It's pretty rocky, soap sudsy, bright white. Looks nice in the glass. It's to be expected with these uh, these beers from Wild Leap. Let's go ahead and shove our nose in it. Wow, it's so bright. It's and immediately, the first thing I noticed was that coconut thing, man. I'm telling you. If you haven't had a beer with Sabro hops in it, do yourself a favor and, and try one. And <laughs> you're going to be blown away because it, it really does uh, bring out a coconut thing. This one almost reminded me of a pina colada note, honestly. Um, you know, it does say uh, Sabro hops creating notes of tropical fruit, herbs, and pines. So they don't even mention the coconut, but I'm, I'm, I'm picking that up for sure. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, it, more more so like a pina colada. Um, it's like a pineapple and coconut. Uh, it almost smells like a just like a tropical, uh, like cocktail or something, like a mixed drink. It's got some really juicy, like, uh, like tropical juicy uh, aromas going on, like just like fresh squeezed pineapple juice. Um, juicy, like bright orange. It's got even like a little bit of like a, almost like a lime or, 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 or something like that going on. Light, you know, bready doughy malt, nothing crazy going on there. It's just lending all the showcase to the hops. It's letting them shine. Um, let's go ahead and taste this one. My mouth's watering for this one. Cheers. Yeah, 
It's fantastic. Yeah, it's really, really, really nice. It's got a nice, sweet, tropical fruit flavor going on in it. Nice, medium, medium plus mouthfeel. Uh, it's got some a little bit of like a chewy, um, you know, um, velvet type uh, mouthfeel that you would expect out of a New England style IPA. Um, it does not drink like eight percent. It's it's the alcohol is well hidden. Um, you know, not much bitterness there. They're kind of letting this one kind of be, you know, more along the lines of the of the juicy, um, you know, tropical fruity uh, New England style IPA. Still get a hint of that um, pina colada note, but I'm also getting more, more so on the palate. I'm getting more citrus fruit, um, and more um, just like sweet, sweet pineapple and orange. It's even got a little bit of a dankness in there, like a grassy or, or um, maybe like a just like a resinous type dankness going on. A little bit of a pininess on the back end, but um, it's got a little bit of a sweetness that kind of lingers there before it dries up. So, um, really solid stuff. I, I, you know, I'm glad this is a it is a 12 ounce can, but I am glad that it comes in a six pack. So, I've got five more of these to enjoy. Um, yeah, fantastic stuff, man. I've really got to get down to Lagrange, Georgia, and uh, visit this brewery. Because everything that I've had from them is just really, really solid. And, um, you know, like I said, I love this can art too, which, um, I don't know. It just makes me feel like I would I would enjoy this brewery. I don't know why. They just do some cool stuff. So, uh, yeah, guys, I enjoyed this one. I definitely recommend it if you're able to get your hands on it. Uh, fantastic uh, New England style uh, double IPA. You know, it's 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 got all the characteristics that you want it's juicy it's fruity um, it's got that nice mouth feel to it it's got the low bitterness it's super drinkable for eight percent um yeah it's got that cool coconut pina colada thing going on which i love um i want i hope to see a lot more breweries uh utilize the sabro hop um, i think it's just a fun hop i hope to brew with it soon as well so uh, yeah guys i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video Sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, sorry. Um, we'll catch, catch you guys in the next one. Uh, but until then, like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.